Hello everyone, how's it been? Today, we're gonna have a little talk about an interesting topic. You guys might have had that experience before, might have participated, might have seen it, might have had it done to you, but let's talk about obsession on the internet. <laughs> now, this is a bit of a follow-up to something that happened uh, relatively recently, a week or so. And eventually, after a lot of question and answers, let's just say that the final answer or the final decision kind of landed on the whole fact of obsession. Let me do a small recap. Artist friend of mine, well, not directly friend, I just watch his stuff. Kind of like me saying, I know Joe Mad. Joe Mad's my friend if I watch his stuff. All right. So this artist has been commissioned, um, took a while, gave the commission, you know, finished the commission. And then someone else did a giant review article on it, on his journal. Now, the main thing, I already did a vlog on that, yet things kind of escalated up to a point where I finally got to talk to that person, which was quite interesting. Now, after continuously probing that person for a legit answer as to why did you do it? First answer that came up, ooh, it was to make a discussion on commissions and such terms. Of course, that didn't make much sense because anybody with and a free time and street smarts would just Google. Two hour Google search, bam, there's your answer. So more talks were ahead along with, you know, a little click or this person's little click on the side, adding some troll comments, being really angry, blah, blah, blah. Now eventually an answer came up to why did you specifically target this person for your little scheme? And the answer was, well, it's because it's interesting. I am interested in this person. Now, to roll back a slight bit back, uh, a slight bit further back, I just want to point out that uh, the commissioner, or the person that commissioned the artwork, does not like the artist. The person actually hates the artist and his artwork does not like his style and basically is part of a forum that dislikes or that dislikes the artist. Now let's go back forward to the answer of, oh, it's cause I'm interested. This is where the whole thing just falls apart and dwells into the subject of obsession. You do not like this artist. Why do you take so much time to pull this little scheme, time and money of course, pull this little scheme to make a review on a person that you do not like? Now, I can only imagine, you know, just pushing it to the extreme, uh, a job situation where Mr. Com the Commissioner, the person that commissioned the artist, uh, would get up to work or go to work a bit tired and just go oh, boss and the boss would just be Johnson what have you been doing you look tired of shit and your panels are late what's going on well I've been I've been up all night I uh, I've been watching this artist I hate I've been up all night just doing journals and such Johnson why you hate this artist why do you do it what's the point it's because I find it interesting. Oh, uh, hey, excuse me. You're late on your panels. You haven't slept. Why now? Why, why are you wasting your time with this person that you hate? Well, it's because I find it interesting. Johnson, you're fired. Yeah, you see... Pushing it to the extreme, it looks ludicrous, right? Well, even when not pushed to the extreme, 
It's the ludicrous. You hate a person, you dislike their work. What's the point of following them? This is what I was trying to ask for a long fucking time. And of course, I couldn't get a straight answer. Cause I find it interesting, who gives a fuck? You hate the guy. Get over yourself, stop watching the guy. <laughs> now, of course, there has been other answers, other interesting answers from the click, uh, who have gracious, <laughs> graciously gave us such answers such as, well, this person is now ruining the world of art. He will teach the beginners bad stuff. The young artist will be influenced by his terrible artwork. And the industry is going to be ruined by thinking that this is the standard. So there has to be something done. This is a legit answer. That the, the artist that's not liked is so popular that the industry is going to lower their standard to this guy's work. Not saying that this guy's work is terrible. I'm just saying that compared to, let's say, Boris Vallejo, or Alvin Lee, or, I don't know, let me just pick up Oscar Martin, just picking up one of my random books, or Julie Bell, apparently this guy is the one that is going to kill the industry and bring the, the top industry owners to accept this style, or look for this style, thus pushing every other artist aside so that the other artists will not get a job if they do not have such a style with flaws and blah blah blah. So let the art inquisition begin! That's right, we're gonna go in the streets. We are going to break every artist's hand so that they need to be to the standard. That's right, they need to be to my standards. Because if they're not, they are going to ruin the industry. All the new artists will be trying shittingly if it is not for our Inquisition. Because right now, we are going in the streets and ridding the world of terrible artists. And we're gonna do it this Sunday night. Okay. Get over yourself. Straight away message. You, you kind of see what I have to deal with, right? You see why I cannot not make fun of such claim. Of how far certain people will go to defend their shit actions on a person that they could just simply ignore. Oh, wait. Actually, I got a good reply for that. That's right. A person just went, well, it's because he's, he's on the main page, so I can't ignore him. Main page of DeviantArt. I don't know if any one of you went there. there there's actually a main page. <laughs> now, there's a simple trick, and I would have thought that this would be a standard for most DeviantArt users, yet usually you would log into your dashboard and you would only see the artists you like and the artists that you're following. Now, apparently this seems to be too difficult for some people. Too difficult to a point where they have to go on this inquisition in order to rid the web of these two popular artists that aren't to their liking. Apparently, it's way too difficult just to, you know, block, mute a person, just go on your dashboard, or just get the fuck out of the website. I don't know, apparently it's that difficult. Or maybe it's way too difficult not to go on this person that you hate's website. Apparently that's very difficult. Oh, it's also very difficult not to link to that person's website on your forum or journal. Because you hate that person, so why would you do it anyway? Ladies and gentlemen, the pure representation of obsession. Again, 
to encompass this whole situation. This artist that is not really liked by a certain group, clique of people, um, seems to be too popular for them not to go on his page or to simply go on their dashboard. So that they have to go to length where they have to big commission, you know, just to make an article to give even more hate to that person. Uh, they have to make journal entries. They have to make forum posts. They have to make, oh, they have to make web pages about this person that they hate and simply cannot ignore. And I'm, most of these people, while checking their background, because, you know, you got to check their profiles if they leave a comment. Most of these people are supposed to be artists. They care this much. And let's use the word care loosely. Very, very loosely. They care this much about art and this artist that they do not like to reach these levels. And of course, when, you know, when told, well, this artist is really not influencing your life in any way. Hell, this could go for any topic. YouTube celebrities, celebrities in general, TV celebrities, um, unless it's a president or some kind, or um, let's say a mayor, or someone who's in an actual position, all right? Not just a web person, but apparently it is too hard to ignore people on the web that are relatively more popular than you. It's just that difficult. And apparently they care so much that they have to go to these lengths instead of simply ignoring the person. Oh, it's not like this person is going to come over and kick your dog, right? I sure hope not. Yeah, that'd be funny. That'd be, that'd be quite a kick. <laughs> Yet, again, this person online who in no way can affect your life. This person's just an artist. And apparently, it's just too hard to ignore. It's just too hard to ignore someone doing their own thing and not giving a fuck, right? <laughs> it's just too hard. And that's obsession. That's obsession. Because eventually, you just need to let it go. You just need to work on your own thing. Especially if you're an artist. Just go work on your own thing. And improve. Get some feedback. You want to give feedback? Get a circle. A circle of artists. And then give your feedback. Don't pull some stupid little journal thing. Also because the other person doesn't really give that much of a fuck about your little scheme, you know. But, you know, the journal thing was basically the hate. And to further on the obsession. And when you have this obsession thing going on as a group, then it's sad. It's just quite sad to see. Artists wasting their time doing little shenanigans like that. Why? It feels... A lot of it could be felt like jealousy, but the strong point is obsession. Because the simple answer is just don't look at that artist. Don't look at his work. Don't look at his upload. Don't even go under Twitter. Stop watching that person. I mean, seriously. If you want to do that with all the artists that are really popular and you don't feel have the skill, well, there's a whole list. There's a whole list. And then again, these lists are really subjective. Why? Because you may not like one style, someone else will like it. A lot of people don't like Rob Liefeld. I don't. But some people do. A lot of people do not like Akira Toriyama. I'm not a big fan of his work, but a lot of people like him. So, if, you know, it, let's push it to the extreme. If I don't like these people, should I go on an endless tirade to make journal posts, video blogs, journal uh, blog posts, let's say even forum posts on these so-called artists that I really hate? Is that logical? Am I supposed to lose my job for that? Am I supposed to act this dumb? 
because this is dumb. Let's no more no more holding back on this. This is just dumb. And as a group, then that's a group of dumb people who do not know their fucking priorities. And again, these people were really hungry to tell the fact that they are artists and they feel offended. Oh good, you're an artist? Go back to fucking drawing and learning. Because you're wasting your time doing these forum posts and harassing other people who are just wondering, what the hell are you doing? Go learn! Draw! I'm drawing. <laughs> Drew these little sketches. But, again, this is the topic of obsession. And if people like that act continuously in such manner and they try to drag you into that there is, there is a simple option it's very easy it is a free tutorial there's a block button there's a mute button use them <laughs> and you won't get to deal with these people no matter how much they try to defend their obsession by saying it is some kind of artistic crusade, it is for a topic, it is for research. In the end, it's still obsession. And you, you the viewer, do not need to waste your time with people like that. Just block them. So, that was quite interesting. It's not the only time I've seen this topic of obsession, but... This is one of the big times where I've seen it in the art community. And I just had to poke it up. Bring a random random quick talk event about obsession. So remember guys, don't be disobsessed. Do what you like. Learn. Study more techniques. But don't. Just don't be obsessed with what you hate. Because you're not going to grow from that. You're only going to hold yourself back. In the meantime, I'll see you all later. Peace out and draw!